this all started a month ago when I got a phone request out of the blue. I didn't know who it was and we had no mutual friends. It could have been anyone, but at the time I didn't care. A few days later I got a message. And that's how it started. I began to trust someone I hadn't even met within the first week. What does that say about me? Then came the day we'd both been waiting for, the day we were going to meet in person. That was today. It had to be during school, so I could make up any excuse. I couldn't let my parents know I was meeting a girl. Okay. Yeah. You got the drinks then? Yeah. I oh, they only had one, so. Yeah, that's okay. You look nice today. Hey, Truth is, she wasn't bad, but something felt wrong. She was having pictures, but the girl sitting in front of me was a completely different person. Something about this girl made me feel uneasy. As soon as she walked off, I searched her jacket. I knew something was wrong about her. Unfortunately, I was right. You were there? Yeah, there must have gone after this another time. Why were you in my jacket? What? What did you find, Olivia? Who should we You don't understand. I had to. Yeah, I'm gonna leave now. You're not going anywhere. Get off me. You could get away from me. I woke up on the ground. I was dizzy and I could feel the wound on my head. I was trapped, vulnerable and weak. You won't leave me again, Olivia. Let me go. No. My attempt failed. I thought that was it for me. Let me go. But that was when I saw it. The bottle. In that moment, I didn't care if the bitch was dead or alive. I'd stopped her. The police arrived and took her away. My parents weren't happy I was meeting up with a complete stranger, but they were happy I was safe. After the day, I don't think I'll ever skip school again. I was stupid, naive, and that could have cost me my life. It's just not worth the risk. I'm just glad it's all over.